there's nothing out of the ordinary about this brownstone in Boston South End. Or is there? Behind this understated sign is 311, a Japanese omakase restaurant. Omakase dining means customers eat whatever the chef decides to make. So every night the chef will prepare things that he arrive uh, for the day or for the week, uh, things which is in season or things that he think that you should try. The menu for every day, um, we don't post it. Uh, our customer come in here and just up to the chef, up to him. Carrie Co is manager of 311. Her partner in life and business is 311's owner and executive chef, Wei Fa Chen. So is uh, 311 or 311, they both correct. It means the unity of the host, the guest, and the place. But in the same time, uh, it has a deeper meaning because it's actually his birthday. So his birthday is on March 11th. 11 seats 10 people at a time for an 18 course dinner. 99% of our ingredients are from Japan because we want you to taste like the most uh, in season. We also want you to taste something which is different. Chef Chen trained at restaurants in Boston and New York where he worked at Masa, a three star Michelin Japanese and sushi restaurant. I'm very happy that I opened a restaurant in Boston on Tremont Street. We feel very welcome and have received a lot of support from people in the city and within the neighborhood. One of the dishes on tonight's menu is an uncommon delicacy in the U.S. Horsehair crab or hairy crab. It's actually with a little hair all over the body uh, and it's a little hairy. <laughs> so this is a Hokkaido hairy crab. <laughs> yes. It's so big. It is. Can I touch it? Yes. <laughs> you can pat him. So the top part is actually very soft. The bottom bar has some spikes. Oh, he likes it. Hello, you do. Hello. And where do these come from? Uh, Hokkaido area. One large hairy crab can feed 10 people, says Ko. Do the diners have a hankering for this fuzzy fellow? We asked Stella Lung. Have you had the hairy crab? Yes, that's just one of my favorite. How would you describe the taste? Um, very sweet, mm. and then like the texture is like very uh, soft. I really like it. I don't know how to describe it until you try it. You have everyone have to try it. Great music at a restaurant can elevate the dining experience, but at Temple Records in Boston's downtown crossing, people are coming for the music first. Tell me what you're searching for. It's all about going into a spot that has great quality equipment, spinning vinyl, where you can still have a conversation with the person next to you and enjoy the fidelity of Thelonious Monk or whatever we're playing that night. For James Beard award-winning chef Jamie Vicinette, Temple represents a new part partnership and direction. I'd say that this is my most personal project yet because there's so much of my wife and my relationship that we've put into it. We went to Korea to see family, we went to Japan to just explore, and checking out record bars, I was like, wow, I've got more records than most of these record bars. and most of those records are on display here, along with his personal mixer and speakers set up to play music you can literally feel. This bass line is why I love this record. It, it really starts off kind of funky and mellow and it goes into just the most chill city pop record you could ever imagine. Drinks are designed to match the mood. We did decide to intentionally on the cocktail list not put shaken cocktails so we didn't have to compete with that rattle and roll. Every great record has a B-side, and for Temple Records, it's just downstairs. We came up with the idea of a sushi restaurant accompanying Temple Records upstairs. Bobek Bina and Andy Carton are partners in the business, embracing both the concept and the space. We wanted to keep it very simple, clean, traditional, and Kenta, our, our sushi chef, is on board with that and actually has been directing us more so in that way. The final track on this album is Somak Just Next Door, Korean dining that tastes like home. When my wife and I were first started dating and she would bring me home to, to meet the parents and mom would cook for us, there was a certain smell and a certain taste of like the food and that, that just stuck with me. To bring us all together and come up with these great ideas that we're really passionate about is the really coolest thing. There's a, an element of surprise almost in each room. It's pretty special.
In Japan, listening bars started popping up after World War II and really were designed for people to come in and listen to new music that they may not hear anywhere else because of the cost of imported records. And back to 311, Carrie Ko says she and Chef Chen did the interior design of the restaurant themselves. It used to be a one-bedroom apartment. Well, still ahead, wrapping up with a spot of tea.